Hey there designers, Renee here with a Photoshop tutorial for a scuba excursion poster. We'll create a fun underwater scene using hand-painted vector elements and layering techniques. Follow along by downloading the freebie pack at designcuts.com. Open Photoshop and go to File New. Name your file, enter a width of 18 inches and a height of 24 inches. Set your resolution to 300 ppi and your color mode to RGB, then click OK to create the document. We'll start with a background image. Go to File, Place Linked. Navigate to the Alex Green Art folder and select Galaxy 1 and press Place. Hold Shift and use the corner handles to increase the size until it fills the artboard. Press Enter when you're done. In Finder, or File Explorer, navigate to the Polar Vectors folder in the Freebies folder and open bluewhale.eps in Illustrator. Use the Main Selection tool to select the white text and delete it. Then select the whale and press Delete, leaving us with just the ocean and rays of light. Press Command-A to select all, then press Command-C to copy. Now you can close this file. Back in Photoshop, press Command-V to paste on the main layout. Hold Shift and use the corner handles to increase the size until it fills the entire artboard, then press Enter. At the top of the Layers palette, change the Blend Mode from Normal to Hard Light. Hold Shift and click on the Galaxy 1 layer. With both the top layers selected, click the Create a New Group icon at the bottom of the Layers palette. Double-click the name of the group, Group 1, and change it to Background. Now click the Create a New Group icon again. Name the group Helmet and Coral. Go to File, Place Linked, and navigate to 050.eps in the Pixel Buddha folder and press Place. Use the corner handles to rotate the coral to the right slightly, only about 4 degrees then press Enter. Position it so it runs off the bottom left side of the artboard. In the Layers palette, drag the 050 layer into the Helmet and Coral group. Now go to File Place Linked and select 049.eps in the same Pixel Buddha folder and press Place. Use the corner handle to rotate the coral to the right, this time about 18 degrees, and press Enter. Position so it runs off the bottom right side of the artboard. Go to File, Place Linked, and select 047, and press Place. Position on the bottom left side of the artboard, just slightly overlapping the tall coral. And then press Enter. Now go to File, Place Linked, and select 048 and press place. Position this one on the bottom right side of the artboard, slightly overlapping the coral on the right side. In the Layers palette, select the 047 layer and drag it down to the Create a New Layer icon at the bottom of the palette to duplicate it. On the artboard, use the Move tool to position the copied coral in the middle of the artboard, slightly lower than the original. Go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Now go to File Place Linked and go to the Alex Green Art folder, select Plants.eps and press Place. Use the Move tool to position the plant at the bottom right and to the left of the tall coral. In the Layers palette, drag the Plants layer below the 050 layer. Now drag it down to the Create a New Layer icon at the bottom of the palette to duplicate it. Go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. On the artboard, use the Move tool to position the copied plant to the same relative position on the left side of the artboard, but maybe a little bit lower. Go 
Go to File, Place Linked, and navigate to MountainScenes.eps in the Build Interactive folder. Press Place. Hold Shift and drag the corner handles out until it's the same width as the artboard, and press Enter. Position the trees at the middle bottom of the artboard, and then in the Layers palette, drag the Mountain Scenes layer below the bottom Plants layer. At the bottom of the Layers palette, click the Effects icon and choose Color Overlay. In the pop-up dialog box, choose a blend mode of normal, then double-click the color thumbnail. When the color picker pop-up opens, use the eyedropper tool to select a bright green from one of the plants on the artboard. Press OK on the color picker, then OK on the layer style dialog box. Go to File Place Linked and navigate to Helmet.eps in the Alex Green Art folder. Press Place. Position right in the middle of the artboard and press Enter. Next up, we'll add a few whales in the background. At the bottom of the Layers palette, click the Create a New Group icon. Name the group Whales and drag it between the background and helmet and coral groups. Go to File Place Linked and select Whale.eps in the Alex Green Art folder and press Place. At the top of the artboard, enter a width of 120% and click the link icon between width and height to maintain the aspect ratio. Position the whale at the middle right of the artboard and press enter. In the layers palette, drag the whale layer into the whales group. At the top of the layers palette, change the opacity to 20%. Now drag the whale layer down to the Create a New Layer icon to duplicate it. Go to Edit Free Transform. At the top of the artboard, enter a width of 130% and click the link icon between width and height. Next to Angle, enter 18 degrees, then press Enter. On the artboard, drag the duplicate down and to the left of the original. From Finder or File Explorer, navigate to the Polar Vectors folder and open BlueWhale.eps in Illustrator again. Use the main selection tool to select the whale and press Command C to copy, then close the Illustrator file. Back in Photoshop, press Command V to paste, select Smart Object and press OK. Position the whale at the top left of the artboard just under the waterline and press Enter. At the top of the Layers palette, change the opacity to 40%. Now create a new group and name it Text. Drag the Text group above the other groups to the very top of the Layers palette. Select the Type tool. Click once at the top middle of the artboard and type Scuba Diving, Line Break, Excursions. Switch back to the Move tool, then open the Character palette and select a bold sans serif font. I'm going to use Canvas 3D Sans at 190 points. I'm setting the Letting, the vertical space between lines, to 170 points the kerning to optical, and the tracking, the space between each individual letter, to negative 30. Finally, click the color thumbnail and change the fill color to white, then press OK. And I'll just adjust the position of the helmet a little bit to account for the height of our text. Now select the Type tool again and click once in the middle under the helmet. Type Call Today, N-Swim Tomorrow, Line Break, 
786.555.1212. Now switch to the Move tool. In the Character Palette, use a smaller, more whimsical font. I'm using Cardinio Modern at 85 point with auto letting, zero tracking, and kerning set to optical. In the Layers palette, open the Background group. Drag the Vector Smart Object layer, the top one, to the Create a New Layer icon to duplicate it. Drag the duplicate layer to the top of the layers in the text group. In the Layers palette, hold Command and click on the T to the left of the first type layer, then hold Shift and Command and click the T to the left of the second type layer. At the bottom of the Layers palette, press the Add Layer Mask icon. This gives us a subtle interaction of light on the letters. Now we'll add a little more depth to the piece. Open the background group. At the bottom of the layers palette, click the Create a New Layer icon. Double click the layer name and rename it Darker Areas. Now select the Brush tool. At the top left above the artboard, click on the downward facing arrow to the right of the brush thumbnail to open the brush preset picker. Select the soft round brush. Hold down the right bracket key until the brush size is about 3000 pixels. To the right of the brush thumbnail, change the opacity to 20%. At the bottom of the toolbar, click the foreground color swatch to bring up the color picker. Use the eyedropper to sample a dark blue from the background, then press OK. Now brush a half moon shape along the bottom of the artboard, uh, lower in the middle and higher on the sides. Make two to three passes with the brush to gradually build up the color. At the top of the Layers palette, change the Blend Mode to Multiply. Now we'll add a lighter section behind the helmet to really bring that out. At the bottom of the Layers palette, click the Create a New Layer icon. Name the new layer Lighter Areas. Press D to set your foreground color to black and background color to white, then press X to toggle so that white becomes the foreground color. Select the brush tool and with the same settings we used before still in place, brush in the area behind the helmet to brighten it a little bit. Again, make two to three passes with the brush to build up a subtle glow effect. In the Layers palette, click the Create a New Layer icon. Name the new layer Border and drag it out of the background group to the very top of the Layers palette so it's above all the other groups. Press X to toggle the foreground color to black. At the top left of the artboard, click on the downward facing arrow to the right of the brush thumbnail and select the hard round brush. Hold down the left bracket key until the brush size is about 200 pixels. To the right of the brush thumbnail, change the opacity back to 100%. Now we could really easily create perfect borders, but we want to draw an irregular wavy border to complement the underwater theme. So we'll freehand draw around all four edges of the artboard. If things get a little too crazy, you can always switch over to the eraser tool to do any cleanup. Overall though, just go with the irregular border look that naturally is results from your freehand approach. At the top of the layers palette, change the opacity to 30% when you're done. For our last step, we're going to pump up the colors for a really bright finish to the piece. In the Adjustments palette, click the Vibrance icon. In the Properties panel that opens, increase the Vibrance to plus 5 and the Saturation to plus 25. And we're done! We've created a fun scuba diving poster using high quality vector elements and Photoshop layering techniques. Whether it's your outcome for this tutorial or something new, head over to our Facebook page and share it with us. Let us know what you think in the comments below and give us a thumbs up if you like the tutorial. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash designcuts to get more video tutorials and regular updates or visit us at designcuts.com. Thanks for watching. Till next time.